Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So big news, they've cast a whole bunch of new people for the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. We kind of know who the villains are gonna be. Michael Keaton is probably going to be playing the Vulture, so this is gonna be a breakdown of all that. There are about five or six new actors that they've cast in various roles, people that are gonna be friends in and around Peter Parker, the villain characters, some of them we have a pretty good idea of who they're playing or they've already said exactly who they're playing and some are a little more vague. Like Donald Glover, for instance, a lot of people were like, oh, is he gonna be playing Miles Morales? No way. He would be like five o'clock shadow Miles Morales. He's way too old. Miles Morales is more of a little brother to Peter Parker in the grand scheme of things. So if Peter Parker is going to be like a sophomore in high school when this movie picks up, Miles Morales would still be in junior high. He'd be like a really, really little kid. But let's talk about the vulture. So the reason people think that Michael Keaton is playing the vulture is really like all the trades have started to report Michael Keaton who may be playing the vulture. And when the Hollywood trade newspapers start talking about stuff like that, it's a pretty sure bet that that's the way it's going to go down. But here's the reason why people think that he's playing the vulture and it has to do with who the secondary villain's going to be. So Michael Keaton's going to be playing the main villain but there's going to be another slightly smaller villain working with him in the movie that's going to be played by Logan Marshall Green, and he's supposed to be playing the Tinkerer, and the really interesting thing about his character is that he helped the Vulture create his flight suit using Shatari tech. So there you have your Marvel Cinematic Universe. Obviously, we've already seen Spider-Man and Civil War, so we've already seen Marvel Cinematic Universe crossover with the Sony franchise, but this just deepens that. It makes sense that if a whole bunch of alien tech gets left behind after a big invasion, villains are going to try and seize the opportunity. So Logan Marshall Green's Tinkerer character is going to be someone who's playing around with that. And even though we don't know what Michael Keaton's arc is in the film, like why the Vulture is doing something that Spider-Man is trying to stop, like he has to have something that he wants so that he can be like, okay, I don't care who I kill to get this thing or whatever the MacGuffin is. We just know that Peter Parker will try to stop him. That'll be the big win of the film, defeating the villain and then making it to class on time on Monday. Remember, he's in high school, so a lot of the new characters that they've announced are high school characters. They've cast his principal. It looks like Michelle Gonzalez is going to be his love interest, which I like as a nice twist. They're not going back to the Gwen Stacy pool, Mary Jane, just because we've already done that so many times. They're in there. Like all the characters that Spider-Man has ever interacted with in the comics, they're totally in the universe. It's just that this first movie that they're doing with Tom Holland, they want it to feel as fresh as possible, which is why they're going with a villain that they've never used before, like the Vulture, in a supporting cast that haven't been featured as much. So like Michelle Gonzalez, and even the actor who's in like the Flash Thompson, like the bully role, who was actually played by Joe Manganiello in the original Spider-Man films, which I think is kind of funny. He's not gonna be Flash Thompson because every single movie with Spider-Man the last couple of years has featured Flash Thompson as the high school bully. So I'm really excited they're not just doing the exact same thing. But obviously, you know, Tony Stark is going to be in the film. He's not going to be a main character. He'll probably be featured less than he was during Civil War, but he'll probably be an important part of whatever the MacGuffin is, like something Spider-Man needs to help him defeat the Vulture. Tony Stark will be there to offer advice and a few toys, because what is Tony Stark good for if not creating new toys? The other new person they just announced is Martin Starr. We have no idea who he's playing. He might be playing a villain. He might be there for comedic relief. It's like a Donald Glover situation. They were probably cast because they can do both drama and comedy. So we don't know exactly who they're playing, only that they're going to get to be funny and a little bit serious in the film, which I think is totally the appropriate way to use those two actors, even if the people they're playing aren't going to be really big comic book characters. But if you're wondering if the movie is doing a specific comic book story, it's not. It'll be an adaptation just like all the other Marvel movies. If you remember Iron Man 3 did Extremis, it was very different from the way that's used in the comics. It didn't get embedded in Iron Man's skin, he didn't get hijacked by Ultron, like so many things get changed about the comics when they make the movies. It's gonna be the same thing with the new Spider-Man movies. And it is gonna be a trilogy, but the first movie isn't going to overburden itself with trying to set up a big Spider-Man universe in the way the previous Andrew Garfield Sony movies were doing. Remember how Amazing Spider-Man 2 tried to tease Sinister Six and that didn't really play out? There's still a Venom movie that Sony's trying to make. So there's still like Sinister Six Venom things happening at Sony. It's just that they're not as big a deal as they used to be. And the priority now is just keeping Spider-Man folded into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So Sony isn't trying to create its own cinematic universe with just Spider-Man characters. It's trying to integrate with Marvels. 
the reason that's a really good thing is because they don't have to set up 10 other movies in this one Spider-Man movie they're making, which I think will be a much more enjoyable experience. But let me know in the comments, what do you think about Michael Keaton playing the Vulture? I know if you haven't seen Birdman, you have to watch Birdman. It's such a great parody of all the Batman stuff that he's done. It's a great parody of big Hollywood actors and big Hollywood franchises in general. But Michael Keaton takes every opportunity to make fun of his time as Batman. And what do you think about the Vulture, you know, like his flight suit being made based on something that was set up in the Avengers movie? I feel like they're just trying to tie this into the Marvel Cinematic Universe as much as possible. And it would totally make sense that if you're going to have an advanced flight suit based on alien tech, that that tech might have come from the Shatari invasion. So even if it's a bummer that the Marvel TV shows haven't bled into the movies that much yet, even the Netflix characters haven't crossed over yet, at least everything is connected in the movie universe, like you have callbacks to the very first Avengers film. I don't know that Sony is going to be bringing any Spider-Man Homecoming stuff to Comic-Con, but if they do, I'll totally do a video for it. Mostly Marvel's going to be hyping up Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and Doctor Strange. They might tease some other things. I feel like they'll bring a little bit of Spider-Man stuff. So because so much stuff has been announced the last couple days, I'm going to be doing a Flash Season 3 video next. Be sure to subscribe to get that. I'll do a Civil War 2 video and then like an Arrow Season 5 video after that. So that'll all post this weekend before Game of Thrones stuff comes back. But there's a lot of really awesome stuff happening. And if you want to read comic books based on Spider-Man stories, I would recommend you just start with what's going on right now in and around Civil War 2. Do not worry about reading the old Spider-Man stuff. Just read what's happening right now. Just jump on the summer hype train and have some fun. While you guys wait for my next video to post, you can click here for my Guardians of the Galaxy 2 Comic-Con teaser, and you can click here for the Game of Thrones Episode 9 trailer that's coming this weekend. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.